Well, 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 Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah. If I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about that Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. If I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. I should be set for the whole trip with this. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Oops, uh, excuse me. Out of my way, fancy pants! On second thought, stop right there! You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge! You gotta pay! Is this some sort of bribe situation? No, more like extortion. Here, allow me to demonstrate! <laughs> Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? I rough someone needs roughing up on this side. Whoa! Hey, you're loaded! This is my lucky night! Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre! Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Hello. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. I have some questions about Scab Island. Why? Thinking about moving here? Actually, I'm trying to get off it as soon as possible. Good luck! With the sailing embargo Lagos imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Thanks. That's all I need to know. Okay, but don't be shy if you think of a question. 
Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Wow, that's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, oh, yuck. How old pig biter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites.
Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. My name's Captain Dredd. What can I do for ya? Navy Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. No ships can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee. I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. whole bucket of mud. And it's mine! All mine! Just take a little. Cat dewormer. Cat dewormer. Ash to life. The uncremating cream. Hey, that's just a display model. Guy brush threepwood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. About that jar I was looking at? That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. I'll take it. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. 
plus. You need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. Boy, voodoo's complicated. Rules are rules. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have his toupee. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I'll bring you more later. Good. Now go. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. This is creepy feeling. I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. 
when I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. You looked pretty steamed. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years. I said, I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. This is a cold soup. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. The shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard! Ha! Ah, that's the oldest trick in the book! Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How oh, gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie.
I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Ah, here it comes. brought me any more ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Little, mean-looking, and ugly, just like Largo. Stop bothering me! What? Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! Ooh! How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... That'll teach you to mess with the Slayer of the Ghost Pirate LeChuck. What's that? 
You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that... Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's gonna try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Where can I hide? There is no place to hide, but there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time, on? I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, Mon. Come again. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, Mon. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lagos been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies LeChuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threep Wood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. 
I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. I, Guybrush Threepwood, is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big One. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? Who wants to know? I'm with the local constabulary, sir. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Well, am I under arrest? If you want to put it that way, sir, yes. Oh, all right. Let's go. It's coming. Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Can't say as I care much for your method of invitation. I simply wanted to ensure that you didn't slip away before we had a chance to meet. There's something I'd like to discuss such as how much it must cost to keep you in food? Be careful upon whose toes you tread, Mr. Threepwood. At least I can see your toes. Why, you... Excuse me. Let's get down to why you're here, shall we? I intend to sell you to the ghost pirate LeChuck. <laughs> LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, the Chuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? He doesn't scare me. Just tell me where I can find him. I rather think he'll find you, Mr. Threepwood. You see, He's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. Whatever bounty LeChuck's offering, I'll double it. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Threepwood. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11.
Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. Here, doggy doggy. Here, boy. There's a banana in here, and an organ. Hey, that <laughs> tickles! No more bets? Okay, here we go! Nine red. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. Prizes for just one piece of eight. Give me the next number. First, give me the password. If this is four, what's this? One. Right. The winning number will be 16 red. Thanks! No more bets? Okay, here we go! Again! Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number gonna be? First, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is one, what's this? Two? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is two, what's this? Four? No. It's five. Okay, we'll start over. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? One? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is one, what's this? Three? That's two. One more. If this is three, what's this? Two? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club but I don't recognize you. No, I was transferred here today. New orders. What? Um, sorry. I had a flashback there. What I meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be 16 red.
Care to make a bet? Hello. How you doing? I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 16 red. Okay. Here we go. Sixteen red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have sixty pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations! Thanks! You can't win if you don't play. The Joy of Hex. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Great shipwrecks of our century. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Famous pirate quotations. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. When I blew up LeChuck. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Hi, I'm looking for a book. Shh! This is a library. Whisper! Now, what is it? I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Address? 221B Baker Street. Age? Um, 21. Occupation? Pirate. Vices? Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. All right, your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? I'd like When I Blew Up the Chuck. Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find famous pirate quotations? That book has been checked out by Governor Fat. Anything else? Do you have great shipwrecks of our century? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find the Joy of Hex?
Okay, here you go. That's your limit. You'll have to give some books back before you can check out any more. When I blew up LeChuck. Ugh, the catalog was right. This is pretty bad. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm the best fisherman in these isles. Oh, I beg to differ with you. I'm the best fisherman in these isles. You? Why, you couldn't fish your way out of a paper bag. What? The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. You mean the blow hard? Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around, and that is that. Not if your hooks are as dull as your wit. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? What sort of wager were you thinking of? If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. What's the catch? If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. Ooh, you mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? No. Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? All right. It's a bet. Great. I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. Aren't you supposed to be in jail? Yes, but I broke out. <laughs> That's a good one. Walt would have chewed you to bits. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Really? I better fetch the cook. Cover says, famous pirate quotations. Where'd you want to go?
I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh... I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Alrighty, that'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Okie dokie, that'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. I'd like to buy this mirror. And I'd like to sell it to you. That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy these eye patches. I just keep those here because they're cool. They're not for sale. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? I can't afford that much. Too bad. You have a costume on reserve. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. Cruises! Cruises! Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I'll come back later. Okay, I'll be here. See the world. Check it out. Okay, now who's going to be next? It's a great day for spitting. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. I've got my invitation right here. Well, what do you know? You do have an invitation. Do you have a costume? I have my costume right here. Better put it on. Well, if you insist. But you'll have to try to restrain yourself. No, no, not here. Go in the bushes or something. Jeez. Oh, that is nice. And the boots are a nice touch. Okay, I guess you can go through. Have fun.
I'm gonna sweat off 20 pounds in this All right, I got the first map piece. Well, what's the matter, boy? Smell something? Uh, nice doggy. <laughs> what's the matter there, Gabrush? This crazy nut is trying to kill me. I was talking to the dog. Who are you? She named her dog Guybrush? Yeah, I don't get it either. It's not much of a name if you ask me. It says it's cause he's dumb and helpless and keeps getting in the way. He sure can sniff out the governor's possessions. Maybe you should empty your pockets. Try and catch me, old man. <laughs> Oh, uh, look out for that rake. Governor, I caught one of your party guests making off with your grandfather's map. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? Bring him in. In here, Guybrush. Guybrush? Guybrush Threepwood? The one and only Sugar Bear. Of all the parties in all the houses on all the islands of the Caribbean, he had to crash mine. It's destiny, honey cakes. Don't talk to me. Snugglepuss. Get lost. Punky Doodle. I'm warning you. Pooper Dooper. Maybe I should go rake the back 40. Look at us, together again. Boy, we haven't been like this since, well... Since I quit my job and moved away without leaving a forwarding address? Was that what happened? Gee, I, th I thought... Guybrush, can't you take a hint? We were a mistake. I thought we had an agreement. If I can't be with you, I don't want to live. Oh, really? Won't you at least give me a second chance? You're getting warmer. Elaine, save me from this whirlpool of misery. Well, that's not the most stupid thing you've ever said. Elaine, take me back. I can't live without you. Oh, Guybrush, I know I shouldn't have anything to do with you, but there's something about your weakness and ineptitude that I find infectious. Does that mean you're gonna let me have the map? The map? Is that what this is all about? I should have known better. If the map's all you care about... You'd better go out and get it. She's gone. I guess I really made her mad this time. Well, maybe she won't miss this old thing. So, where are all the chicks? Yeah, I thought there'd be some here. as loud as you want. Filbert's out raking the back 40. What the? Hey! Dang wind. Come back here. Hey! Well, shoot. Maybe while I'm in the woods, I'll ditch this stupid costume. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. <laughs> Whoa! 
what is all the racket? Don't be blowing nothing around here. Who do you think you are? Hey, come back here. I'm not done yet. You better just get out of here. No good punk. Oh, there you are. Anyway, that I was saying. You call that music or something? Something very strange is going on here. Do not attempt to adjust your set. Dad? Mom? What are you two doing here? We came looking for you. Where have you been? You came looking for me? But I thought you abandoned me. Why would we do that? We are such loving parents. Yes, we are. So what do you two want? We have some information for you, son. Really? Great! What is it? Well, we're going to give it to you in the form of a song. Oh, okay. again. Ooh! <laughs> well, Chuck, but I killed you! You didn't kill me, you little moron! I was already a ghost when you met me! You just destroyed my spiritual essence, a favor that I will now return. Wow, what a dream. Where do you want to go? Wow! 
This is the biggest... The... Uh, well, it... It's almost as big as the Leviathan I just hauled in. Really? Where is this Leviathan? Uh, uh, I think you're lying. Yeah, you're right. It was just a fish story. I guess you win. Here, take the pole. Where you want to go? Excuse me, could you take a look at this? Hmm, looks like a massive fracture. You're gonna be using this? I better reinforce it for you. Here you go, boy. Steel shank, alloy splints, better than new. You're supposed to be cooking. The knives needed sharpening. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually it's a fictional name. Oh, all right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the bloody lip. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Give me a bloody stump. I can't. Chainsaw's out of gas. Ha 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 hilarious. Yeah, I cracked myself up. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. Ha 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 But seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Well, take it outside then. No spitting in here. Hey, 
Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Where is that thing? Ah, that'll work. Thanks. Where do you want to go? Check it out. Cruises. Howdy. Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, Now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? All righty. I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. I almost forgot. I wanted you to have this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I can. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Look at how freely I can wiggle my toes. Sure, sure. Try out the lid operation. It's just as roomy closed. I hear you knocking up there. That's solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. Hey, I think the lid's stuck. Um, excuse me, friend. Could you see if the clasp is closed on this thing? Are you still out there? Hello? Cruises. Glass bottom boat. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. Valuable prizes. Even a child can do it.
false alarm. As I was saying, come on! It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Just put your two lips together and blow. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? I am, of course, Captain Lugi. The Lugster. Lugorama! Hawking the big ones for fame and fortune. Spit away! Come on, Captain Lugi! Let's go! <coughs> He's cleared first place! That was truly awe-inspiring. Sports fans, we've seen something incredible here today. Let me congratulate you and give you this fine commemorative plaque. I salute you, Captain Lugi. Come on, let's give him a hand. Of course, there are plenty more prizes for the rest of you. So how about it, gang? Are you pirates or not? Two, four, six, eight! Glass bottom boat. Check it out! How much will you give me for this plaque? I'm not interested. What do you mean? It's worth a mint. For a lump of pus on a shingle? That's not just any lump of pus. Oh yeah? What's so special about it? The spit of the person who killed LeChuck is on it. Really? That would make it very valuable. And I do like bronze anyway. I'll give you 6,000 pieces of eight for it. Glass bottom boat. Cruises. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 36 North, 83 West. Glass bottom boat. Glass bottom boat. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. As I mentioned, my fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll pay you the 6,000 pieces of eight. You've chartered yourself a ship. Are you ready to leave now? Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Have you got a course planned or anything? I can show you where I want to go on this map that Captain Dredd gave me. Well, here we are. What now? What did you do? Order this ship out of the back of a comic book? Very funny. I've seen bigger ships in bottles. Ha ha. Whose bathtub did this ship come from? Did you think that up all by yourself? I've seen coffee cups bigger than this ship. Can we get on with it? I'll dive in and look for the sunken galleon. Are you sure you can swim? Hey, I can hold my breath for ten minutes. This monkey head is too heavy to carry to the surface. Considering this game has no drop verb, I'm doomed. I got the monkey head! Well, let's head back to Booty Island. Well, congratulations on your find, Guybrush. 
Be sure and tell any friends you might have about capsized charters. See you around the turnpike. Check it out! The figurehead from the Mad Monkey! Ordinarily, I'd pay six million pieces of eight for this, but I'm a bit short on the cash right now. I'll give you this big whoop map piece for it. Sure, I'll take the map piece. It's yours! All right, I got the first map piece. Thing. I think I get the idea. It's hundreds and hundreds of maps. It's crazy, but it just might work. Hello? Little guy brush. Good boy! Run along home now. Now that's a good dog. Yeah, now I got two map sections. Where do you want to go? Once again... Ah, LeChuck, sir. I just wanted to report that we have finished building the new torture chamber you requested. Very good. Do you have anything else to report? Ah, uh, no. Well... There is one other small little thing. I assume this has to do with Guybrush's capture? Well, sort of. You've allowed him to find the second map piece, haven't you? You fool! You ought to ready your ship and sail after him yourself. Find him, or die. Where do you want to go? Let's 
Stan's Cozy Crypts, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Fester Leech. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Commander Buttonhead. Darg! Barney Gout. Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Rap Scallion. Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Old Skunk Eye. It's inscribed with a quote. Happiness is a warm manatee. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Darg! Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Hmm. Silty. Back again, Mr. Threepwood? Hey, I've got some ashes for that potion. Bring them to me. Now, there's only one small problem. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. I don't have that cookbook anymore. I've got a book of voodoo recipes. Good. How many crab scalps does it say to use? Thirteen. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Thanks. Remember, just a dab or do ya. was a close one. If I didn't have my flame-resistant apron on, I would have been killed. Uh, where exactly did you buy that apron wrap? Stang's previously owned restaurant supply. Why do you ask? Look, wrap, you're dead. What? You've shivered your last timber. I'm dead? Green is your old pickle relish. But I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. There is something I must do before I pass on. Produce an heir to the steam and weenie fortune? No. I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. It's driving me crazy. Did I mention I'm looking for Big Whoop? Big Whoop? <laughs> I'll take that secret with me to my grave. Oh, you have it with you? Great! You can have my part of the map to Big Whoop, 
but only if you do me a favor first. Could you check the gas on my weenie hut for me? Sure, I'll check it. Thanks. Here's the key. The gas was on. I turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. Thanks. Now I can rest in the folds of the earth. Like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah. Where do you want to go? Deep within LeChuck's fortress, blah, 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 blah. Largo. Yeah. Uh, you called for me? Is it true that Guybrush Threepwood has found the third piece of the map to Big Whoop? Ah, uh, yes, sir. I was about. Why did you not come and tell me yourself? Well, I was trying to confirm that he really... Largo, you have been my trusted henchman for many years, but I won't hesitate to drag your entrails from behind my ship if you do not bring me Guybrush before he finds that treasure! Excuse me, aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, eh? That's...
where you want to go. Excuse me, aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail, but I'm taking you back in. They can't keep me locked up. They can't keep me locked up. Who is this Peep Wind character anyway? They can't keep me locked up. Hey! Uh-oh. I can explain, I- Thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. I've got to find out who framed me. Hey, there's some near grog in here. I can't reach it. What do you want? I'm looking for a map. I knew it. Look, kid. I'm sick of you would-be treasure hunters coming over here. I just inherited this house two months ago. And every single day, all I've heard is rap, tap, tap. Do you have a treasure here? Why can't you people just go away and leave a retired pirate in peace? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. So, you want a sword fight, do you? Sword fighting's for wimps, weenies, and sissies. Giving up so easily? Wow, this game's a cinch. I have a better way to solve a dispute. Real pirates solve their differences with a drinking contest. Drinking contest? Come on in. 
I'll get us set up. This is my special grog. It's just for contests. Twice the alcohol, twice the calories. I hate having to waste it. Here's your drink. From what I'm told, nobody can drink the special contest grog without feeling faint. But I've been practicing. You know, most of the treasure hunters just leave when I ask them to. But you... Hold well on. It'll get you places in life, boy. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No thanks. I'll be fine. You drink first. <laughs> now it's your turn. Gee, I still can't make heads or tails of it. I think I need an expert. Wanted, Guybrush Threepwood. Hey, that's me, for the murder of G.P. LeChuck. Also for the use of witchcraft on the person of Largo Legrand. The thievery of clothing and medically prescribed hair supplements for such witchcraft, grave robbing, trespassing, larceny without a permit, disturbing the peace, illegal gambling on a sporting event, use of falsified identification for the purchase of alcohol, exceeding allowable FDA limit for rodent parts in Vichyssoise, premature entombment of a non-dead individual, Reckless tampering with city-maintained plumbing without prior acquisition of an environmental impact report. Transportation of animals not in a mental state to give consent. Vandalizing a historical miniature. Reckless use of gardening tools. Impersonating a woman in order to evade prosecution. Two counts of unauthorized exiting from a penal institution. Reanimating dead persons within city limits. Possession of library books not specifically checked out to oneself. Mixing drinks without a liquor license. And releasing a dangerous reptile in a populated area. Reward offered for information leading to the suspect's apprehension. Threepwood is to be considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Right on! Nice! Where do you want to go? Hmm. Good chuck, sir! I got good news, and I got bad news. The bad news is the guy brushes found the last piece of the map. Nah, the good news is that I got a plan that can't fail. Ah, you see, he must take the map to a cartographer to have it deciphered. 
I'll head him off before he gets there. If your plan fails... It will not, your voodoo lordship. Hello. What's this? A map? Hmm. Looks like only part of a map. I've got the rest of it right here. Hmm. Very interesting. Can you put it all together into one map for me? I'll do it for you if you'll run an errand for me. Go to the International House of Mojo and ask the fortune teller if my love potion's ready. Okay. I'll try to have this done for you when you come back. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Wally sent me to pick up some love potion. Oh, okay. Tell him I said to enjoy, but to be careful. It's powerful stuff. Wouldn't want that little guy getting hurt. Wait, I just felt a sudden disturbance in the force. As if a tiny, tiny voice just called out in fear, and then hastily scratched a message in a table. I think Wally's in trouble, and I think LeChuck has something to do with it. Uh-oh. I better go check. Where'd he go? Someone's hastily scratched a message here. It just says... LeChuck! Oh no! LeChuck's kidnapped the cartographer! The poor little guy! Hey! He has my map! To the Ghost Pirate LeChuck, care of LeChuck's Island Getaway and Spa. Contents, miscellaneous voodoo supplies. I think there's something moving in here. Hey Rich, I sure could use a hand with this one. Uh, looks like another box of live snakes. Sounds like it, too. Well, let's get it on the truck. In the small crate of voodoo supplies that would be his home for the next five days and nights, Guybrush is forced to eat bat lungs and eel bladders to stay alive. 
Eventually, Guybrush and the rest of the slithering cargo are delivered to the very doorstep of the Caribbean's most fearsome villain, living or dead, the ghost pirate, LeChuck. Ah, LeChuck's crate of voodoo supplies. You know, we usually don't deliver out this far, and... You guys fucking for a tip? Well, we figured since... Well, you figured wrong. LeChuck don't tip nobody. Gee, what a butt. Ick, I hate snakes. Uh, let's see here. There's some matches in here, and something that says Love Bomb on it. I think I should save this for later. I'd like to show Elaine how far I can loogie. Guy Brush Threepwood. You have finally been caught. I have searched every island, sailed every sea, and now you are mine. What do you have to say for yourself? Largo! Yes, sir, LeChuck, sir! Take Guybrush down to the torture chamber and get the machine set up. Yes, sir! <laughs> you be in a heap of trouble, Guybrush Threepwood. Now that you are mine, you will pay for what you did to me! Hey, what's a little root beer between friends? Silence! There is only one thing more painful than being resurrected from the dead and crammed into a rotting body. Do you know what that is? Hmm... It is what is about to happen to you! Can't we talk this thing out? You see that candle over there? When it burns through that rope, the bag will fall on the bellows. When it is compressed, it will shoot a single lead bullet, which will ricochet off that pan, then off the shield behind me, bounce off that other shield, finally striking the green balloon. When it pops, it will cause that lever to fall, releasing that ratchet on the chain wheel, and sending you down into the pit of acid. <laughs> uh, gee, I, uh... Do you know what happens next? Um... Well... I will take your bones, still alive and in great pain, and make them into a chair. I will call it my screaming chair. Every morning I will sit in it and listen to you scream! <laughs> Any questions? 
Where's the bathroom? Up the stairs and to the left, but you won't need it in a few minutes. Have you ever tried conditioner on that beard? No. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if it... I'm growing tired of your stupid questions. Prepare to die. He didn't say what he was going to do to me. Uh, an ottoman comes to mind. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Hey, watch it with a spit. What be going on in here? Largo, relight the candle. <sighs> Guybrush has escaped. Find them. Ha! Huh. I bet LeChuck is really cheesed off now. Yep. Hey, Wally? Yeah? Where are we? Good question. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! Hours later. Holly wants a cracker. Oh no, no, that's not right. Oh ah, the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Yeah, no, oh, they smell like anchovies. Hey, there's a cracker in here. Let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we buried the treasure. Mm. I want my granddaughter to marry a real man, a captain. Herman Toothrod, what are you doing here? Oh, hi. I've been waiting for you. What do you mean you've been waiting for me? Our meeting comes at this, the final moment of my existence so far. All else has been in anticipation of this event. What happens now that I'm here? Uh, the moment has passed and we face the future. Now our meeting is nothing more than another note in the grand overture to the next passage. I'm looking for a treasure. Have you seen any? There are many treasures here, found and unfound. The beauty of the ocean, for example. Or the treasure of the past, seen in the rings of trees, or the half-remembered cacklings of a parrot. Actually, I'm looking for the treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I'm afraid I am not uh, familiar with that one. I think I have better things to do than talk to you. I think you will find that the concept of better things is the frailest of illusions. Pretty Polly. Okay, let's go over it one more time. Okay, let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we buried the treasure. Polly wants a cracker. Okay, let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we buried the treasure.
Marley. Where should we bury the treasure? That seems to have gotten most of the salt out of it. Okay, let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we bury the treasure. Oh no, no, that's not right. It used to be full of instant low-sodium cracker mix, but now it's empty. It's empty. Holly wants a cracker! And due east from the pond to the dinosaur. Oh, the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. It's nailed shut. Hey, dynamite, just like it says on the side. Head due east from the pond to the dinosaur. Head north from the dinosaur to the pile of rocks. I want my granddaughter to marry a real man, a captain. Holly wants a cracker. Head north from the dinosaur to the pile of rocks. Head due east from the rocks to the eggs. Oh, you meant this treasure. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? You could have come by the shortcut like I do. Shortcut? Oh, the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. I've hit cement. That's the last match. Great Scott! That came from the direction of Dinky Island. The idiot must be messing with my grandfather's treasure. Ugh, oh, I'd better get over there. There, I think that'll hold. <laughs> and you showed up about three days later. Will you help me now? Anything to shut you up has to have been the longest story I ever heard. Oh dear. Ooh. Eek. Hello, Guybrush. Goodbye, LeChuck. You won't escape me this time. I escaped from you before. I can easily do it again. Not so fast. Even if you were to escape, I would always be able to find you again. We are bound to one another. Like dreadlocks? Yes, rather like that. Or like... Brothers. Huh? I am your brother. No, no. That's not true! That's impossible! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! No! And I brought a little surprise for you. Uh, I don't suppose it's a LucasArts game. No. Say, that wouldn't happen to be a voodoo doll, would it? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, it is a voodoo doll, which I'll be using to torture you. 
and then send you screaming to another dimension, one of infinite pain. Observe. Quite finished? No, I want to do this. Wow! Ah, ah, oh. That was exhilarating. Let's have some more fun, shall we? <laughs> oh, please, no more. Okay, time to send you screaming to a dimension of infinite pain. At last, I'm rid of that pesky little wimp Guybrush. Ah, hey, I'm alive. Hey, I thought I was a goner. Oops. Strange. There must be something wrong with my voodoo doll. It was supposed to send you to another dimension, not the next room. Huh, shoddy materials, I'll bet. Well, I guess I'll just try it again. Uh, no. That's okay. I... <laughs> Holy cow, these are my parents! Hmm, this looks loose. Oh, there's stuff in it. It's a pair of surgical gloves. There's a syringe in here. There's loads of root beer in here. Hey, there's only one balloon in here. They're little generic voodoo cupid dolls. Now you're gonna get it. Uh, here, try this. Now, isn't that better? Let's buy on <laughs> I'll just take one. Hey, hey, a Susan B. Anthony. Now you're gonna get it. Let bygones be bygones. Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Now you're gonna get it. Let's bury the hatchet. Let bygones be bygones.
Now you're gonna get it. Hey! Ow! Hey! This is hauntingly familiar. Employees only. Nice. The warning tape says closed for construction. That would be unlawful. Well, that's one ingredient. It's got some stuff in it. A beard. And that's about it. That's two ingredients. That's three ingredients. Now all I need is a doll. Okay, brother, watch out, because I've got my own doll now. Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. I'm Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? You're gonna get it. Ow! That's pretty good, Guybrush. But not good enough to stop me. Hey? Oh, it's you. What, that again? Ooh, look at me quaking in me booties. I laugh at you and your puny voodoo tinkerings. Aha! I can take it! Take this, LeChuck! Ow! I'm much too powerful for you and your puny doll! It doesn't hurt! You know, this doll reminds me of the stretchy muscle man I had as a kid. Ow! Ah! You don't scare me. I wonder what would happen if I tore the leg off this thing! <laughs> Guybrush! <laughs> what? Come over here. No way. I'm not that stupid. But I want you to... <clears throat> take my mask off. Uh, see the true face of your brother. Oh, all right. I'm coming over. Gently now. Remove my... <gasps> mask. My god, you're my creepy brother Chucky. What? Did you think I was kidding before? Why have you been chasing me all over the place? Our mother told me to hunt you down. When our mother told you to hunt me down, did she actually mention killing me, or was that your idea? Look, Guybrush, could you help me out? Stick the leg back on the doll, okay? Will you promise not to hold me down and spit on me anymore? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids! You're not supposed to be in here. Ah, so there you are. What's going on? We're scolding you for running off. Your mother and I were very concerned. Thank you for hunting down your brother like we asked, Chucky dear. You boys didn't get in any trouble now, did you? No, no sir. sir. Good. I wish you wouldn't run off like that, young man. We were worried sick. You don't know what kinds of murderers and ne'er-do-wells might be hanging around a place like this. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Of course, dear. But please, be careful. Well, come on then. 
Let's go ride the madly rotating buccaneer. Yeah. Keeping Guybrush. Oh, I hope LeChuck hasn't cast some horrible spell over him or anything. <laughs> 